Jetty Rockers. Welcome to Jetty Rocks Fish. Well, I'm out here this morning. It is 9.30. So I'm getting a pretty good start. We're going to be doing some sheep's head fishing today, I hope. Wind's kind of coming out of the east, which might make it a little difficult with the jetties, but we will see. But we're going to got, we got uh, about 100 sand fleas, roughly two cups of sand fleas. So we're going to go down here to the inlet, see if we can't catch some more sheep head, y'all. Wish us luck. Jetties ain't gonna happen. That was nasty. I actually took a big wave over the bow. Very nasty, very choppy out there. So now I'm gonna come in and fish residential docks. That is gonna be my plan now. Change my whole technique. But hopefully we'll get a few nice fish today. We're not gonna give up yet, guys. Plan one didn't work out. We go to plan B. All right, guys, I'm at my first dock here. I'm already getting a hit. Holy crap. I'm already got a hit. Alright, let's see what happens. Oh, you know what? Man, I don't know if those are pinfish or what that is. Alright guys, I got my first one right here. My first sheep's head of the day. Right here. All right, we got one little guy, little dude, but hey, it's a sheep's head. But it is a sheep's head. See you, guy. Sweet. All right, we got one. All right, guys, well, we got one. We're at slack tide right now, so I'm sitting kind of funky, but I'm sitting pretty good. Got a hit right there. I already got me. Nope, he's still hitting it. Oh, he got it. A lot of pinfish down there too. I'm getting a lot of pinfish hits. All right. A lot of pinfish down here. Let's see if we can't get a couple more sheeps. He's on it. I'm getting tore up here, guys. I've hooked like two or three, but they're all kind of small sheep's head. Got one messing with it right now. All right, guys, I'm hooked up with a pretty good one, I think. Oh, yeah, he's good. He's a good one. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a decent one right there. That's a decent one. He hit it pretty good. All right, nice little dock sheep head. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah, he's 13. Oh, 12 and three quarters, almost 13 inches. We'll, we'll wait to get a little bit bigger ones. I think today we'll keep them around 15 inches or so. That's a nice fish though. All right, guys, what I'm doing, I'm just using a sand flea, bottom sweeper jig. Just sticking it on there kind of like that i'm just fishing right next to these pilings I'm in about nine feet of water so i'm not real deep and they're uh, just picking it up and going with it oh man he <laughs> the second he hit the bottom he had it holy cow 
That was crazy. When he hit the bottom, he was on it. Let me do that again. All right, guys, I got something here. Oh, that's a sheep. That's a sheep. A little sheep. That's a sheep. All right, well, it looks like it's just a bunch of small guys here. So I think we're going to go ahead and we're going to go look for some bigger fish. We've got three here. They've all been kind of small. So I think we're going to go ahead and go see if we can't find some bigger fish, y'all. Hey, y'all. Well, I'm at my second spot here. I have been fishing here a lot this year and have not done any good at all. But we're gonna try it out anyway. One of these days they're gonna move in here. Already got a hit, but I'm pretty sure that's a pinfish. Here we got it. We'll give it about 15, 20 minutes here. If I don't hook a fish or get a fish, We'll go find something else. Well, kind of typical of that spot lately. Nothing there either. I sat there and talked to a guy named Blake there for about an hour, had a good conversation. So now I'm back on the hunt for some sheep's head. Hopefully we'll find some somewhere. But not looking that good today, guys. Not looking that good at all. Wish really, really wish I could get out to the jetties, but that's not gonna happen. So hopefully we'll stumble across something here pretty soon. Oh. Hey Jetty Rockers, well we're back in. It was kind of slow out there today. We really didn't do all that great. It was a full moon last night and I think that had a lot, of, lot to do with it. Plus it was really windy out of the south. Whenever we have a really strong south wind, it's really hard to fish the jetties. So we had an outgoing tide with a strong south wind. Not fun. But real quick guys, I want to just talk to you a little bit about the bottom sweeper jigs. Got a whole bunch of jigs right here. I got half ounce, three quarter ounce, which is mainly what I like to use. It's just three quarter ounce jig. What I like about these jigs, guys, when they hit the bottom, they pretty much stay up. And they spin around, the hook's always pointing straight up. So when that sheep head comes down and grabs that crab, you get a good hook set in that, in that sheep's head. Most of the time, from what I can tell, in my experience, it's gonna hook them in the corner of the mouth or on the top jaw. Very seldom are you gonna gut hook. I have yet to gut hook one with one of these and throat hook. I have never throat hooked one either. It's either in the side of the corner of the mouth or it's in the uh, top of the mouth. As you can tell guys, I have quite a few of these. This is a 3 8 ounce. Let's find the ones I want here. We got three quarter ounce. This is what you look for when you go to online. If you hit the link in the bottom of the description area of my videos, this is what you're gonna see. And what I like to use, I like the three quarter ounce with the one out hook. This is my favorite. And my two favorite colors are pink and orange. This is a two watt hook, one ounce. I actually have never tried this one yet. I need to give that one a try. See if I have an orange one, three quarter ounce. There we go. There's an orange three quarter ounce. Those are my favorite ones. Then also, I do like the half ounce with a one out hook. The three quarter ounce is gonna come one jig to a pack. The half ounce is gonna come two jigs to a pack. If I'm fishing docks or slow moving current, I like the half ounce. But if I'm using fishing in deeper water and a little bit fast moving current, I like the uh, three quarter ounce the best. But these are my favorite ones, guys. The three quarter and the half ounce, and either the pink or the orange. All right, now we're gonna talk a little bit about the setup that I use my main setup for sheep's head fishing. This is one of my older rods. This is a Pen Pursuit 2. And this is the older one. It's even missing the little thing there. I've beat this thing to death. It's about three, four years old. I got this on my ugly stick. This is a seven foot medium heavy action. I have 30 pound Power Pro line on here. And my jig. I have tied onto a 20 pound test fluorocarbon leader. And my line to line knot, I use a surgeon's knot. That's the knot that I use. That's the one that I'm very familiar tying. I could tie it super fast and it holds up really good for me. I've never lost a fish because of that knot. 
So I've got a lot of faith in it, so that's what I use. But here's my jig, guys. You can see how tore up this thing is. There's teeth marks all in it from the sheep's head. And I've caught on this one jig, as of right now, I've caught 52 fish on this jig. Sheep's head, black drum, red fish, spot tail porgies, puffer fish, toad fish, short sheep's head, all kinds of fish I've caught on this one jig so far. And I'm actually going to see how many fish I can catch on this one jig. But right now we're at 52. And the knot that I like to use, and I'm going to explain why I like to use this knot, a lot of people with jigs like to use a loop knot. But I have found if you tie a clinch knot or a tight knot to this jig, you can feel everything. Anything that comes up to this thing and just taps it or smells it, you're going to feel it because this knot is directly tied to the eye of the hook. So it's just a direct line, you can feel everything. When I use a loop knot, which I have used it, I don't feel that I get the best feel with a loop knot. You probably would get better action on it, but I'm not jigging it. I'm just holding the thing straight to the bottom. So I wanna feel everything. So I tie a clinch knot straight to the eye of the hook. That's just little tricks that I use. Seems to work really well for me. Well guys, this is a few little tricks, little tips that I like to use sheep's head fishing with the bottom sweeper jigs. I'm sure there's a lot more different ways of doing it that other people like. I'm sure a lot of people have their own ways of doing it, but this is just what I like. Those are the two jigs that I like the most. Those are the two killers that I like the most. I prefer to use the clinch knot versus a loop knot. That's just my personal preference. Try it out. It may work better for you. It may not. But besides the uh, bottom sweeper jig, I'm starting to get my garage in order. I got my, my rods in here. I got my traps, I got my cast nets. I got my bait freezer in here. Brand new bait freezer. Already loaded with bait. Got a whole bunch of sand fleas in here. A bunch of sand fleas for sheep's head season. I got my crab traps in here. I got a lot of work I'm still gonna do to it. I'm gonna get rid of these cabinets. I'm going to put my rod racks over here. I got some pictures I want to put up in here. So I still got a lot of work to go, but it's coming along, guys. I just want to show you guys a little bit of progress that I'm making. But I hope this video helped you guys a little bit. I know we didn't catch a lot of fish in this video, but that's just the way it goes sometimes. You know, night of the full moon, fishing the next day, it's kind of hard fishing. And in my area, we have a strong south wind. It's kind of tough fishing the jetties. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You've seen the rod that I use, how I like to tie the jig in my uh, line to line knot, how I like to set up with the bottom sweeper jig and the bottom sweeper jigs I like. And if you're interested in the bottom sweeper jigs, guys, there is a link in the bottom of all my sheep's head videos. Hit that link, it'll take you right to the bottom sweeper website where you can get you some jigs. They are a little pricey. I'll agree with some people. They are a little pricey, but they are worth it. Like I said, that one jig I've caught 52 fish on that jig. So really, how expensive is the jig? If you're catching that many fish on one jig, kind of worth the money to me. That's just my opinion. That's just my opinion. I don't cast the jig. I don't flip it under docks. I strictly vertical fish the jig. That's why I don't lose that many. I haven't really lost, since I've been using the bottom sweeper jigs, I probably have lost under 10 easily under 10. I think it's even probably closer to five because very seldom do I get it hung up. And if I do get it hung up, a lot of times it'll come right out. It'll just pop right out with a little bit of pressure. So thank you guys for watching this video. Like I said, if you're interested in the jigs, check out the description below. Till I see you all again, tight lines, Jetty Rockers. We'll be seeing you all. Soon.